listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. We are here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. And, and Angel, I have some encouraging news for small business owners all across America. Oh, that sounds fantastic. You know, the, the culture is changing. I think people are fed up of the economic trials that we have been going through for the last four years. Okay. And uh, like always historically small businesses leading the way by entrepreneurs standing up and saying we're not going to take it anymore and we're going to do something different and this is the crux of the revolution absolutely and because you know i think so often we can get in our comfort zone and just yap it up and just say this is the way it is and and too bad so sad in fact we hear that sometimes with customer service right when, when people find out that our our sweet spot is customer service yep. and they go on to tell us how customer service is so terrible in this country and and oh my gosh there's nothing you can do about it right all right fine let's just all put up our hands and say there's nothing we can do about it and let it go down that path or or let's try this on for size. Let's actually rally together. Let's see if we can make a difference. Let's do something positive. Let's let's move and create some action steps that are actually good for customer service. Let's highlight the companies that really are providing good customer service instead of letting bad customer service get all the limelight. Absolutely. I was uh, I was perusing Facebook uh, last night and I came across a friend of mine who had uh, had a negative experience. And so often is the case when we have a negative experience, it's very easy to uh, throw out a negative comment and so on. And I'm not going to debate whether that's good, bad, or indifferent at this point, but he put out this uh, this big red picture that says, stop bad customer service. And he went on a little bit of a rant on why he posted that. And, uh, and my response to that was, you know, Trey, we, we got here as quickly as we could. You are the revolution, and it's perfectly reasonable to expect, yes, even demand extreme customer service. Let's not satisfy for, or let's not settle for satisfied. Let's get crazy for those companies that exceed expectations every day. It is a shift in perspective. This is the revolution that we say we're going to focus on the positive instead of bemoaning the negative. We are going to rise up and make a difference. And why not? We actually ha can. We have the, the resources just as easily to post something negative that we can also turn it around and post something positive and share kindness. You bet. And encourage those companies. Seek out, don't do business with, with companies that offer bad customer service. You don't have to go and, and derail them on the internet. Just don't give them your money anymore. Well, and, and, and better yet, give money, praise, accolades, shout outs, Pile on the amazing commentary. And yet, and yet we don't. And yet we don't. I know. If we, are, we are ignorant and apathetic to good customer service. We got here as quickly as we could. You don't see the raving stuff. You only see the negative. And right. so, of course, that's all we think is happening. And we think that we get to. And yet, what does that, what did you really win? And who really won in that scenario? And nothing. You know, you get angry and, and really it only satisfies the itch that you're feeling. Mm -hmm. And it does nothing but negative about the others. And, and frankly, it, it, uh, it sh and when you shares a lot about... complain out loud, yeah. when you pick up the phone and complain or you type up something and complain, it like festers. It just builds up inside of you this ugly dark thing that you're growing and festering and watering and it just continues to build and fester whereas one act of kindness can put all of that out here's how you do it go to experiencepros.com and click on the fan brag tag that that little uh, tab at the top just click on that and leave a story of great customer service for us you can do the same thing on our facebook page facebook.com slash experience pros or you could go to twitter and use the hashtag fan brag we make it so easy for you to to choose 
positive instead of basking in the negative. And we're going to do that. We're going to lead it by example with this pro- program today. We've got James Fisher coming up next. We've got, uh, we're going to talk about how, how to master a healthy self-image. We're going to talk about relieving stress and creating success. And in the end, we're going to talk about what does it really take to become a leader. That's your lineup for today. I hope you're listening. Don't go anywhere. There's more with Angel and Eric coming up next on the Experience Pros Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Every mortgage loan requires title insurance, and you have a choice of the title company you want to work with. Choose Trinity Title. Trinity Title, locally owned and awarded as Small Business of the Year, offers you the most customer-focused closing experience. Check with your real estate agent and make sure they're working with Trinity Title. Get the mortgage insurance you need by calling Trinity Title at 303-470-1213 or online at trinity-title.com. Trust Trinity Title to insure you. Trinity-title.com. When it comes to dental wellness, you have an abundant choice. Dental Wellness at Dry Creek offers five-star family care at discount prices well below the area average. Dr. Camillo Delizia and his professional staff welcome you with the amenities of a day spa and decades of experience to assure you the most comfortable dental experience possible. Insurance is accepted and emergencies are always seen immediately. Please visit Dental Wellness at Dry Creek to see for yourself why your next dentist is Dr. Delizia. Visit DentalWellnessDC.com or call 303-773-9400. Hi, this is Dr. D, living life on the bright side here on the Experience Pros radio show. I'd love the opportunity to meet you and care for your family's dental wellness. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros radio show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros radio show. Start your week by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Bragging Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show, weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Your small business matters, and James Fisher of the Growth Curve Institute wants to invest in you. James wants to give you a free digital copy of his book, navigating the growth curve you'll enjoy this valuable text written in the style of an espionage murder mystery that teaches the tenets of growing a sustainable business enterprise to get your free copy of navigating the growth curve go right now to sustainablegrowthleague.com and click the download link do it today that's sustainablegrowthleague.com life is a series of choices you make every single day you can listen to excuses or you can listen to people who pour into you and inspire you tune in to life on the bright side with dr delizia every wednesday on the experience pros radio show to learn the life secrets from one of the most successful dentists in the industry dr delizia brings his warm-hearted laughter and he won't accept your excuses for being grumpy Be encouraged. Be uplifted. Listen to Life on the Bright Side with Dr. Delizia every Wednesday right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Hi, this is Eric, and here in Denver, you never know what the weather's going to be like from day to day. One thing you can count on is that when it snows, accidents happen. And when accidents happen, you need to know that you have a choice of auto body repair shops. Our friends at Nylons Collision Center are the best when it comes to making your car look better than brand new. Put Nylons on your speed dial, 303-761-9219, or visit them at nylundscollision.com. Nylons Collision winner of the Channel 7 A-List Best Body Shop. Denver's only local conservative talk show during the afternoon commute. Grassroots Radio Colorado with Ken Clark and Jason Worley. 5 to 7 on KLZ 560, The Source. Sustainable growth companies are the cornerstone of our future. And now, the experienced pros are proud to present Navigating the Growth Curve with James Fisher. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where we are determined to navigate your growth curve with your business coach, James Fisher. James, welcome back to the broadcast. Great to be here. Absolutely. Very nice to have you. Now, uh, what are we going to be talking about in this hour? Well, uh, you know, I'm shifting gears. that, that's okay with me. <laughs> you all t- just mentioned something I thought was really pertinent to uh, us discussing now, and that was the um, framework from which people 
um, look at things. And, and so in other words, you, got, you were making a comment about the extreme customer service. Sure. That kind of thing. Yeah, the perspective. And, you can the choose a negative or you can choose a positive. Yeah. Right. And so I, I have a, I've always had this, this belief, I think, that um, what you see is what you experience. I think in many cases that is true. It may not be reality, right? But I think you're right. Okay, so if I choose to see, let's just use Eric as an example. If I choose to see Eric as a brilliant genius, and I choose to see that in him, that's my choice. Now, Eric may come in, and he, in any given day, he may not feel like that. But I am choosing to see that in him. Sure. And then probably everything that he does or says, you kind of go through that filter, and it and, and it either it either adds reinforces, to reinforces, right? Or it doesn't necessarily take away. You probably just don't even pay attention to something that would so not reinforce it. Let me tell you where I learned this. Okay. This is when I was going to college at, at CU in Boulder, and I was taking an astronomy class. Mm -hmm. And the professor, I was really fascinated in, with that topic. And the professor was a good guy and he had like oh, maybe 75 people in the class and I really went and we had a paper that we had to write every single week and I really got into it and I'd write A papers just because I was interested right yeah, not yeah. that I was anything other than that just interested and I really got into it and then there was about two or three two or three weeks in a row where I was totally uh, immersed in some other topic in school and I and I couldn't quite write an A paper hmm. and I came up to pick up the, my paper at the end of the class to see what I got on it, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, he asked me, well, so what's your name? And I told him my name, and he said, oh, yeah, you're the guy who writes A papers. Hmm. I got my paper, and there's an A on it. And it was an A. It was subpar from your reality. It was probably a B. Reality, right. But you're the guy who writes papers that earn an A. He saw me as the A student. And I thought to myself, wow. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So, and I, you know, I, obviously when I got back into it, I went and then produced real A papers. But right. when I thought about that, it really made an impression on me. And I thought, as I've been through, you know, working with tw over 25 years with small businesses, the people, the operators who really see the very best in their employees get the best. Mm. And even if an employee has a down week, that employee comes back up to that best level of performance. Absolutely. I mean, we can probably all go back into our own histories and think of a time that somebody believed in us and saw something great in us, and we rose ahead because of it. Exactly. Now, what happens when we take this principle and we apply it everywhere? We apply it with our customers. We apply it with our employees. We apply it with our vendors. Mm. What are we doing? Mm, everybody's... Was it, uh, a rising tide carries all ships, right? right. And now, we want to we wanna achieve something greater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So now let's go back to what Eric said. He says, well, I don't know if you can do that all the time. Hmm. And he's right. You can't. But let's just play this out for a second. What if we did it 70% of the time? Sure beats the heck out of And we allowed that other 30% to be realistic, sure. pragmatic. <laughs> okay? And we said, okay, we'll... I get in trouble when I use the word I'm a realist. <laughs> yeah. no, but you're do you right. know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It would revolutionize our entire experience, not just our business experience, our life experience. Now, you take that and you combine it with systems and processes and feedback loops mm. inside your company that allow you to relax and get a pragmatic view. Now you've created the environment, you've created the... the framework for you to step into that I'm going to see the best in everyone around me. Best of both worlds. Bingo. You can be practical and pragmatic. You can see the numbers and respond from a position of of abundance right. rather than from a position of desperation and you, uh, you, you have a positive attitude so you can go so, home and sleep at night. Exactly. So you've created the systems and processes and infrastructure around you and your, your small business you that allows you to see the quantifiable results, okay? And so now what happens is we've got this loop in the small business, which very few small businesses have the time to think about actually putting in place. It's, in, it's incredibly imperative that we all, in order to get this revolution going, we have to get, we have to see things differently. Minneapolis, are you listening to this? 
This is what you need. You need the the positive perspective that the experience pros bring to town, and you need the systems and processes that the Growth Curve Institute and James Fisher brings to town, and you need that to apply it in your business today. Absolutely, because you know, you think about it, at the end of the day, we often go home, and if we didn't feel valued as part of something bigger, and I mean, we can just let the mundane and and, and our own head trash kind of kind of lead us into the day and, and we lack motivation we lack interest but if somebody sees greatness in us we're going to deliver greatness absolutely so the last point here this is getting a little out there you bet is i believe the reality is reflective wow what does that mean it means that whatever we see is what we experience is what we get right what we bring to it is what we get and that's and why that's what comes back to us bingo and everything goes around comes around it sounds like kindness is uh, begets kindness, and and it's a reciprocal kind of a, a human nature kind of a thing. Yeah, and that's why when you when your partner Angel got named Angel, it was for a good reason. I believe that, and you know what, James Fisher, I think you're a genius. I, I really do. We all are. We just don't know it. You know, you know, there may be some real truth to that, and I and I see that a lot. Let's talk a little bit about where our listeners, and not just in Minneapolis, I called them out just because I wanted to say hi to them, but uh, in in St. Louis and in Birmingham and here all across the the Front Range area in Colorado. Where can they find more information about you, and how can they get in touch with you? Because if you don't, folks, you may be missing out on one of the best opportunities ever. Okay, so here's the thing. Our, our listeners are small business operators. You bet. And every single business operator has the challenge of getting their business down on the ground every day, every week, every month, every year. Yes. And our systems, our methods, our tools, our knowledge allow a business operator to create the conditions that build sustainable growth. So if you go to our, our site, sustainablebusinessgrowth.com, go get the free download of our book, pull it down. It's got enormous amount of, of tools and methods for you to use in your business. Just do yourself a favor. Do it. Absolutely. Sustainablebusinessgrowth.com. James Fisher is also on our extreme customer service directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. James, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, folks. Do you have a healthy self-image? We're going to talk about that when we return. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. What if people were bringing business to you instead of you chasing prospects? You're looking for relationships that can help grow your business, but you're only finding people who want to pick your brain or sell you something. Stop chasing. Attend the Extreme Relationship Management Workshop and turn your networking into net worth. To sign up, visit ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com and enter the promo code EXPERIENCEPROS for 20% off or call 720-425-1500. Extreme Relationship Management, the right relationships to build your business. What if people were bringing business to you instead of you chasing prospects? You're looking for relationships that can help grow your business, but you're only finding people who want to pick your brain or sell you something. Stop chasing. Attend the Extreme Relationship Management Workshop and turn your networking into net worth. To sign up, visit ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com and enter the promo code EXPERIENCEPROS for 20% off. Or call 720-425-1500. Extreme Relationship Management, the right relationships to build your business. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufactured products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Your IT investment is not just another line item in your budget. You need to think of IT as a profitable investment with a direct effect on your bottom line. C Squared Computer Consulting offers 24 by 7 system monitoring and optimization, which means reliability, performance, and productivity. Call C Squared Computer Consulting today to realize your IT investment's potential. 303 933 1113 or find C Squared Computer Consulting at c2cc.net. 
Looking for a cause worthy of your support? MyFavoriteNonprofit.com is an online community that hosts thousands of nonprofit organizations for your consideration. Whether your passion is for animals or medical research, from education to the environment, MyFavoriteNonprofit.com will help you find and raise funds in support of that cause. Make a difference in your community. Join MyFavoriteNonprofit.com today. When you need a product or service, who do you trust to get the job done right? Where do you look for those companies that are absolutely guaranteed to put your needs first? Is there a place where customer service reigns supreme? You bet there is. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is now online, and every company on this list has met with our rigid standards of customer-forward business practices and the highest quality service and products. When you need someone that you can absolutely trust, turn to the Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. We guarantee it. The Dave Ramsey Show. They refuse to give me anything in writing. Then you don't have a deal. They keep saying that... Um, you don't have a deal if it's not in writing. I don't care what they said. Okay. Because they lie. Is there anything that I can say to get them to give it to me in writing? Yeah, like I'm not going to give you any money until I get this in writing. Under any circumstances. Well, we've not paid them yet. Okay. You know, we, well, we I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You, do, you do not have a deal. Okay. Understand that what's going to happen is you're going to send them this money, and then they're going to come back and say, Oh, well, you know, we didn't say that. The guy that said that used to work here. He doesn't work here anymore. We fired him. If they're not willing to put it in writing, you don't have a deal. They can put it in writing. It's not rocket science. Okay. Don't get so needy. Okay. So just, you know, and if they keep calling every time they call, I just, just say, don't hey, put it in writing, okay. and then we got something to talk about. But don't call me unless you're ready to put it in writing, because I'm not going to talk to you anymore about this. This is not negotiable. Okay. I will do no deals with you that are not in writing. Dave Ramsey, noon to 3 on KLZ 560, The Source. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the experienced pros radio show where you know customer service must be extreme. Absolutely. If you're not gonna if you're not gonna do it extreme, you're probably not really doing it at all. We are actually gonna switch gears a little bit. We're gonna talk to Daryl Noak. He is an entrepreneur, investor, real estate authority, coach, financier, and author. He's a, the author of Mastering a Healthy Self Image. Daryl, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, so uh, Daryl, we talk a little bit about the guide to real happiness, and you say enormous success. I love the ad adjective in there. And uh, but we talk a little bit about um, the habit of achievement and recognition. Can you talk a little bit about how recognition plays the role in happiness? Absolutely. Um, you know, who doesn't like to be told that they've done something nice or they've done something really good? As an example, this morning. I happened to be at a, uh, a gas station, and I walked in, and the lady that was helping me, um, she was very bright, very sunny, and um, I made a point to say, I really appreciate the fact that you had such a nice smile and you, you took care of me with such a sunny attitude. Not everybody does that. You chose to do it, and I want to say thank you. So, Daryl, how did she respond to that? She said, thank you for pointing that out and noticing, but thank you for telling me. And, and did she say it with a, a grumpy face, or did, was she smiling back at you for, for thanking you, her? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. That was a softball. Let me give you a little more uh, complex question here. Um, you know, we talk about self-esteem and how it affects customer service. Maybe you can address that a little bit because, and, and this is a great example that you just gave of the, of the young lady at the gas station. Uh, Probably her next customer got incredible customer service because you recognized her. I would say you're right. Absolutely. So what role then would you say that self-esteem actually plays in the delivery of customer service that customers actually go beyond and, and remember later. I think it is the foundation stone of that bright, shiny smile in having a good, healthy self-esteem. You know, we really have to um, change the way we talk to our employees and ask our employees, talk to yourself with a bright, shiny attitude so that you exude that to the customers. 
You know, Daryl, it is so true that, that, you know, we talk about our first customer is really our employee, that happy customers give, or happy employees give, give happy customer service. Just they're, they're happier to do it. They're, they're having a good time. They feel good about it. And yet so often what happens kind of behind the counter, behind the scenes, um, isn't always so positive and encouraging. And so if we're going to change, make some changes into our customer service, how do you recommend we start with our employees, and what do you recommend that we do to, to make that change? Well, you know, number one, it, you know, it's always been said for centuries, is that we must lead by example. And so we, as the employer, must have a smile on our face as much as possible. So that's, that's, that's the foundation stone of starting. But one of the things I suggest, and... Um, I've, I've done this for more than 30 years now, and is I literally have a little thing, um, so to speak. I call it a mirror hanger. It's, it literally hangs on my mirror in my, my bathroom so that I, I read it to myself every day when I am in the bathroom getting ready for my day. And it literally is a simple thing that says, I like myself. I love my life. I'm excited. I'm happy, I'm healthy, and I add brightness to the life of everyone I meet. Well, you know, I, I appreciate that, and that is uh, it's, it's great self-talk for, for anybody. Our guest, of course, is Daryl Noak, uh, entrepreneur, investor, real estate authority, coach, financier, and the author of Mastering a Healthy Self-Image, the guidebook to real happiness and enormous success. Daryl, uh, sometimes we make uh, errors in our business judgment, sometimes we uh, make a mistake. How do we turn those into something valuable? Well, first thing that I like to say is that you must accept responsibility for that mistake. I mean, who of us has not made mistakes? I know for myself, you know, I, uh, I've had some really good fortune in my life, but I have made some devastating mistakes to the point that I have literally um, fallen down and had to get back up again more than once. But I accepted responsibility, and then I said, I'm going to learn from that mistake. Look at what I did, how, what did I do right, what, what would I change, and how would I go forward? Daryl, you say that there's one aspect of starting a business that nobody seems to want to talk about. What is that? Well, um, you know, everybody knows that you should always write a good, lengthy business plan, but nobody ever really wants to talk about that. You know, um, when, you know, when you go, when you decide that you're going to go from Denver to San Francisco, if you've never been there, you always look at a map, right? Sure. Well, if we expect to be successful, then how do we expect to get there if we've not created that map for ourselves? And that's something nobody ever wants to talk about. All right, all right. So we need a business plan. And do we include some of this? Um, uh, do we include recognition in our business plan? I I totally believe so. Uh, I uh, I about seven years ago I came up with a little thing that I give out to people. In fact, I I gave one to that that young lady at the gas station this morning. It, it's called a gratitude coin, and that's why I'm saying lead by example. I hand out any time I see a smile, I literally wrote it in my, you know, so to speak, my, my mission statement is I give out a gratitude coin to everybody that I can see that has a great smile every day, and I tell them I'm giving you this gratitude coin as recognition of the fact that you've had that great smile, you had that good attitude, and so by having that in my mission statement of that's one that's something i'm going to do every day to show gratitude is give that gratitude coin out you know daryl you're making a lot of sense and uh and we agree with that here in in uh, the rocky mountain region i used to sit on a board uh for the kudo community and we had a little stone with a little kudo on it uh same point same purpose small investment huge yield and uh does great things for your business where can our listeners find out more about daryl Nook, please Go to truewealthuniversity.com. 
truewealthuniversity.com. Pick up a copy of the book, uh, Mastering a Healthy Self-Image, the guidebook to real happiness and enormous success. Daryl, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you also. Absolutely. You know, and that really does go, you know, the, the, the recognition element and a, a healthy self-esteem really does make all the difference in the world in a business. Your words matter when you when you recognize somebody for their for their smile and compliment them and, and then giving them the stone or a coin to hold in their pocket. They'll remember that and they will offer incredible customer service. Isn't that true? It is so simple. All right. So if you are successful, sometimes you encounter stress along the way. Well, here's what we've done. We've called the good doctor Barnsley Brown's on the line and we're going to have her talk about relieving stress and continuing to create that success right after these messages. Please don't go anywhere. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Hi, everybody. It's Cheryl from ALMC Mortgage. Have you heard how low interest rates are right now? They are as low as they have been in 50 years. It's amazing. Don't you owe it to yourself to do a mortgage review? You might be able to save money on a refinance. Or if you're thinking about buying a home, now is the time to investigate your options. ALMC has lots of loan programs to fit your needs, including renovation loans if your property needs a little TLC. ALMC stands for All Loans Must Close, and we are committed to making sure that you will get the very best loan for you and your family. Call me today at 303-696-6933. If you're ready to buy a new home, an investment property, or if you need to refinance, go to my website at almcmortgage.com and let's get started. ALMC is more than you would expect and everything you deserve. ALMC is located in Aurora, Colorado, NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Advertising is really effective, especially for small business. Turn your company into a household name by advertising on the Experience Pros radio show. We'll help you build a trusted reputation with the professionals who listen to the program. You'll connect with the right audience and at the right price. Advertise with the Experience Pros radio show. Sign up at experiencepros.com and put your brand on the tip of your customer's tongue. Sign up today and start advertising with the Experience Pros at experiencepros.com. You know that the Experience Pros Radio Show runs on caffeine, but not just any coffee will do. We believe in Boyer's Coffee and their commitment to being Colorado proud. Their sustainable efforts give you a reason to serve Denver's finest coffee to your customers and employees, but it's the taste of their slow-roasted flavor that will have you drinking Boyer's Coffee yourself. Drink Boyer's Coffee. We do. Find out more about Boyer's commitment to your community at boyerscoffee.com. Your photographs are your treasures. Your art collection means something to you. And that jersey you won in that silent auction is providing you with tons of bragging rights. So it matters where you have it framed. Trust your framing to the experts at Frame to Art. The experts with heart. What matters to you matters to Frame to Art. Don't drop your treasures off at a warehouse. Trust Frame to Art. 303-722-1525. Call 303-722-1525. Located just north of Dartmouth on South Broadway in Englewood. Frame to Art. It matters. Congratulations on landing the job. I'm really excited for you. Thanks. How's your search going? The job market's tight. I mean, I can barely get an interview. Yeah. And I've got student loans to deal with. You're lucky, you know. The National Guard paid your loans off. Luck. The Guard was a smart decision, one you can still make. The National Guard Student Loan Repayment Program can pay up to $50,000 of your existing student loans. Get the details at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. One way to offer extreme customer service and more value to your customers is to know what your competition is up to. CyberTerry of Littleton will research products and services to make sure you're offering the very best to your customers. Let CyberTerry of Littleton gather all the research and data while you focus on revenue. Don't stay up late researching. Let the professional administrative staff at CyberTerry of Littleton make you look like rock stars. 720-350-4065 or cyberterry.com slash Littleton. Do what you do best and let CyberTerry do the rest. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? I'm Dr. Asa Andrew at my new home in Denver, Colorado on KLZ AM 560, The Source. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. 
Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Again, thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. If you are successful, you probably experience an element of stress that comes along with that. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Our next guest is Dr. Barnsley Brown. She's talking about getting off that hamster wheel, relieving your stress, and creating success. She has a great four-step formula. Dr. Barnsley Brown, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you, Angel and Eric, and happy Monday to you all. You know, it doesn't get much happier. You are with us, and uh, I, I want to start off with uh, addressing this formula that it really is kind of a, a cornerstone for you and your work. Uh, Dr. Barnsley, what is the HBDO formula? The HBDO formula is what is going to get you out of the, the hamster wheel and give you success, and that is hire, barter, delegate, and omit. And those are the things, Eric and Angel, that most business owners only start thinking about when they're a few years into their business, and it's something we should be thinking about from the get-go when that business is birthed. Absolutely. And we're going to go through, we're actually going to do a four-part series with Dr. Barnsley Brown and spend a little bit of time each week going over each one of those letters of the HBDO acronym. But for this week, Dr. Barnsley Brown, give me an H. What does it stand I for? It. <laughs> give me an H. H. H stands, I know, yeah, I'm going to do my cheerleading here. Give me an H. H stands for higher. And we really need to do that. And what I hear from my clients all the time is, oh, I don't have a budget to hire or I don't know where to look. I don't know how to find good people. Or, you know, you've probably heard this. There aren't any good people out there. Right. <laughs> uh, kind of a variation of there are no good men out there. You know, there aren't any good people I can get. You tell so, those ladies um, I am out here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so, you know, you've got, to, uh, you've got to hire good people, and there are ways to do it without a budget and, or with very little budget. And that is finding a virtual assistant, for instance, who can work with online or working with interns. You know, that, that makes perfect sense to me. We, uh, we recommend uh, a virtual assistant as well. Now, let, let's go and ask, are there any benefits to hiring employees versus going with interns? Well, there are. Employees can give you a little bit more consistency and they can be full-time, which is nice because when you're working with interns who you're going to find at your local universities or colleges, when you're working with interns, you know, they've got a full load of classes and usually their, their stress is fairly high and they really try hard, but I've found that you can probably just have each of your interns work maybe four to six or seven hours a week for you, whereas an employee, you can have them work as much as you want, and you also, I love this one, you don't have to be guilty for giving them more work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Give them more work and you don't have to feel bad because that's their job, and, and they may in certain cases be a little bit more professional than interns. Upon occasion, you've got to rein your interns in a little bit and just give them encouragement to get there on time and, and that sort of thing, but I tell you what, I, you know, I was a, a professor in my previous life um, before where I started my business in the year 2000, and I love the mentorship that comes with having interns. I just have to say I love it. It is such an exciting thing to mentor young people and give them training that's going to help them land a super job, and of course, they're helping me get things done. Oh, absolutely, and I think if, if the issue is that you don't have a big budget for hiring, an intern can definitely fill in that interim. Dr. Barnsley Brown, do you have a, a recommendation for how do I know is an intern Turn right, or should I go straight to an employee? Well, you know, it's kind of a matter of temperament. I happen to really enjoy college students. I really love that mentoring relationship, and I tell them this is not a clean the toilet internship. <laughs> right. You're not going to be cleaning the toilet. You're not going to be making me coffee. First of all, don't drink coffee, but I'm going to have you doing things that are really important, such as search engine optimization. You're going to help with social media reputation management, all sorts of stuff. Um, so it depends on, you know, do you like working with young people? If so, I, I think interns can be, it can be a wonderful experience. And plus, they can be paid. They can actually be paid employees, so they can be both. Or they can be unpaid, and even in that case, you want to make sure you're rewarding them handsomely with all sorts of things. Um, you know, so I think I think you can go either way. 
If you are afraid to hire, I would say that an intern is a very nice transition to help you realize that maybe you are indeed ready to go ahead and hire somebody at least part-time to help you with some of that stuff you need to get off your plate that is not necessarily revenue generating and not where you are best used. Absolutely. And you know, and for us, we actually started using a virtual assistant. We use CyberTerry. And I know you're in North Carolina. I think CyberTerry has franchise is all over all over the country but what one of the things Eric and I discovered Dr. Barnsley is that we needed to have some systems in place and they had to be uh -huh. documented in order to because um, so much of what we do is in our head so how what what do you recommend for creating some of those systems or getting those out of your head and and into uh, the hands of your newest employee yeah, you just gave me an idea. We should teach them telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> then we don't have to deal with the systems manual. But I, until I have that, to say that the... I'm hmm? sorry, Dr. Barnsley. Until that comes out, what, what, what else can we do? Yeah, the systems manual is really what you want to have, Eric. And, and it's really essential when you're hiring anybody, um, be it a VA, be it an intern, be it uh, an accountant, whatever. Um, the systems manual is where you document every single process that you use in your business so you document if you've got a youtube channel you document every single step that one would take to edit the film to, to upload it to youtube to to search engine optimize it with keywords all of that stuff um to then spread it virally you document every single step and i say to my interns this has got to be so easy that even a cockroach could follow yeah it. that all of the steps are because you know even when eric and i we think okay we just do this simple thing and and then you start putting all the steps in place and you realize it's like a 12-step not simple at all process Exactly. It becomes Coco Van or something, you know, with so <laughs> many parts of it. I totally agree. And it, it's amazing when you really get down to the nitty gritty and also when you include the troubleshooting, you know, those notes of be careful, don't click X, Y, Z, or you will um, not be saving your information or whatever those right. troubleshooting notes are. When you include that, you can have a process that you thought was three steps and suddenly it's three pages typed in single space. You bet. You bet. And you know, one of the things you gave me an, an idea to uh, use, you mentioned YouTube, and, and you were talking about the process by which we upload or download or take care of the editing and all of that. But I'm thinking I could make a YouTube video uh, that is a training video, and then all of a sudden it came right back to where I say, wait a minute, it has to be documented, it has to be written down so that you can actually follow the steps while doing something else. Well, you know, I think both would be good. But the the thing about the YouTube video is that it's going to you're going to have to make a new video every time you add something, and we are constantly adding to the systems manual. I'm sure you all are as well it's true. for what you do. We're constantly adding in things as, you know, an interface may change or there may be something that's added to um to a process. We've just added some processes to our social media strategy. And so, you know, you'd have to redo your video every time. And I know you are a, you all do TV too. I know you've got that personality, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd love it. Uh, I'm but, not looking uh, for another thing. Thank you very much, Dr. Barnsley. Exactly. Um, yes, it's time to hire it out. But it, it is good to think with a systems manual. All you have to do is get into that document and you can move stuff around. It's real easy and you don't have to redo it. All right. So we are talking to Dr. Barnsley Brown, getting off the hamster wheel, relieving stress and creating success with the HBDO formula. This week we talked about the letter H, which is hiring. Um, Dr. Barnsley Brown, you want to give a little sneak preview into what we'll talk about next week? Yes, next week is the Give Me a B, and that is for barter. And I'm going to be talking with you all about barter is one of the most underused and powerful marketing strategies that you can use. And how do you do it so you don't lose friends? <laughs> <laughs> so you win friends and influence people rather than losing friends. So that's what we'll be talking about next week. So everybody make sure to tune in. And, and is there a web inviting me back, you all. Is there a website for you, Dr. Barnsley Brown? Absolutely. www.spirited, S-P-I-R-I-T-E-D, dash, not underscore, solutions, with an S on the end, dot com. Spirited. Spirited-solutions.com. Very, very nice. Dr. Barnsley, thanks again for joining us. We look forward to next week. Thank you. Y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to you next week. Sounds fabulous. Hey, what does it take to be a leader? When we come back, we're going to answer that question. Actually, we're not going to answer it. We're going to let Brian Destrack answer it. He knows all those answers. We'll be right back on the Experience Pros Network.
The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Looking for a cause worthy of your support? MyFavoriteNonprofit.com is an online community that hosts thousands of nonprofit organizations for your consideration. Whether your passion is for animals or medical research, from education to the environment, MyFavoriteNonprofit.com will help you find and raise funds in support of that cause. Make a difference in your community. Join MyFavoriteNonprofit.com today. Hi, this is Eric, and here in Denver, you never know what the weather's going to be like from day to day. One thing you can count on is that when it snows, accidents happen. And when accidents happen, you need to know that you have a choice of auto body repair shops. Our friends at Nylands Collision Center are the best when it comes to making your car look better than brand new. Put Nylands on your speed dial, 303-761-9219, or visit them at nylundscollision.com. Nylands Collision, winner of the Channel 7 A-List Best Body Shop. When it comes to dental wellness, you have an abundant choice. Dental Wellness at Dry Creek offers five-star family care at discount prices well below the area average. Dr. Camillo Delizia and his professional staff welcome you with the amenities of a day spa and decades of experience to assure you the most comfortable dental experience possible. Insurance is accepted and emergencies are always seen immediately. Please visit Dental Wellness at Dry Creek to see for yourself why your next dentist is Dr. Delizia. Visit DentalWellnessDC.com or call 303-773-9400. Hi, this is Dr. D, living life on the bright side here on the Experience Pros radio show. I'd love the opportunity to meet you and care for your family's dental wellness. Hey, Rick, are you coming to the networking event tonight? I don't know. Seems like all I ever do is network, and all I have to show for is a stack of business cards. I'm not sure networking is helping me get more customers. That's how I felt until I went to the Extreme Relationship Management Workshop. They taught me how to find all the gold nuggets in that stack of business cards. You should go. How do I find out more? Simply go to ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com and enter the promo code EXPERIENCEPROS to get 20% off. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com. Thanks. Extreme Relationship Management, the right relationships to build your business. Elise, come on, it's game day. You've got all weekend to study. Jen, this has nothing to do with studying. I've got to work. The way the economy is, I figure I'll be working for the next century just to pay off these student loans. Well, you know... I know, I know. You joined the National Guard, so your college is completely paid for. Yes, you've mentioned it a couple thousand times. The National Guard Scholarship covers up to 100% of your tuition. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard, aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service, coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufactured products, means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Hey there, Denver. John McCaslin of America's Morning News on KLZ. Dave Ramsey is coming up at noon and he wants to hear from you, so call him today. Dave Ramsey live on AM 560, The Source. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. What fabulous, fabulous music Charlie, our producer, puts on. We're talking about leadership. What better song? Then to go follow me. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to talk to Brian Desterek from Cobalt Business Solution. He's a business coach who specializes in franchise relationships, but what he really does best is listen to you. So much so that when we were talking about bringing Brian on to do a leadership series, he asked me, Angel, what are some of the questions that you have? And then he actually developed his whole segment around the question that I asked him oh, this. Very nice. and, and my question to Brian was this. Um, what do you do if you're placed in a leadership position at work, but you're not really qualified? Is there a crash course way to catch up? Is there a crash course way to catch up, Brian? Oh, there's always a crash course way. I think uh, the biggest place to come from is first getting really grounded and understanding that you are probably there for a really good reason. 
Mm. You may not know what it is it at the moment. It was just that I was there and they didn't have anybody else to put in the position. And that's a pretty good reason. At Jack, least it was you, right. right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so it's really getting grounded in that place. And then the first thing is really to figure out next what your leadership circumstances are. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, you just introduced a new phrase, leadership circumstances. Well, sure. Anytime you step into a leadership position, there's circumstances around you you got to deal with, right? Mm -hmm. The first yes. one might be a crisis. If there's a crisis or an emergency situation, that's going to take a whole different set of skills than, say, a common or a stable situation, right? Right. That would be the next one. And then the third probably big category is the situation of change. And that change might be positive or negative, depending on perception. You guys were talking about perception earlier, right? So change itself is not the crisis? <laughs> it can be. It can be. Depends on perception, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the leadership circumstance, but I have a, a, a kind of a side question before there, Brian. And, um, and that is this, as a leader, is it, do you have to make changes? Like, is that like one of the, the expectations that we're going to do quo? that we're going to do it different? It, it depends on the vision and what you're trying to create, right? So that's kind of the second step is going back to what the purpose of your leadership is and what you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Change may not always be the best thing. You don't have to go you in and change You don't have something. to. That's don't not necessarily to. a given. Okay. No. All right. No, I, I think if you determine that your role is to go in and make changes, you're probably coming at it from the wrong place. And that'll give you a really quick crash course. <laughs> into how not to do it. Right? No, how not to do it, right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well well said. All right, so are there different strategies to use when when considering the various circumstances that you, you come into? Completely, completely. So if it's a crisis situation, it's going to take understanding really quickly what needs to be done. So prioritization is a really key skill. Um, also, I think really getting some clarity and decisiveness. So crisis requires those quick decisions because that's going to gain you some of that respect for people to feel okay to follow you. We've talked about that a little bit before where people follow because they feel okay. They feel safe they in feel following safe. you. Yep, and so exactly. in, in creating or, or making some of those decisions early on will create that safety feature, so to speak. Yes? Completely. Or not. Or not. Yeah, you can, you can totally botch it. I've done that before. Before. It's, it <laughs> tends to not be fun. Back to crash course. Right. But but so then if you get into those crisis situations, you need that you need that stability. You need that decisiveness so people know that they're going to be okay to at least go down that path. It may not even be the right path sometimes. Right. Mm -hmm. We've done that, but knowing you're heading in a direction becomes really critical to being okay to at least move because being stagnant and being stuck in a place is probably one of the worst places to be which is probably one of the circumstances that initiates a leadership change exactly exactly people are feeling stuck things aren't moving it's not going in a direction any direction so something needs to change all right so brian i think we often think that the leader has is very visionary and is making those those changes and those decisions and we're going to follow them what if that doesn't come naturally? I, oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, that, that's that's another good one. You, you know, always see? throw the good ones at me. See? I love this. I know. <laughs> and see, we're just having. I, I think what I love having you in here for, Brian, is is that we can just have the conversation, right? Because it isn't one size fits all. It isn't. Leadership is so many different things, and I think that's why you go back to that foundation. If your major goal is to make sure people are okay to follow mm -hmm. in going towards that vision. Now, it doesn't always have to be your vision. It can be the company vision. You can even collectively sit down with people and find out where they think it might be able to go, but understand that as a leader, you're going to be making a choice at some point. And that's where it gets back to that leadership piece and going, you know what, I, I, I've heard you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm aware of what you're saying. I've acknowledged what you've got to say, but I got to make a choice. And here's what it is. So to piggyback on Angel's question then, do you find that there are many leaders out there that uh, find themselves or, or feel that they are ill-equipped to, to take on that leadership role, though it's been appointed? And, and if so, how do they gear up those skills? Do, do they hold a one-on-one -on -one and ask, you know, wh where should we be going? What, what is your answer towards, how do you lead if you don't know where you're going, if you're not equipped to get there? Get grounded. I, I think I said that at right, the beginning. Get right. grounded and figure out what your purpose of the leadership is. Yes. Right? If you're out there trying to force something on people, it's probably not going to work. 
you're going to have a difficult time with it. So even if you don't know where to go, sit back for a minute and go, what am I trying to get out of this leadership position? I've just been put here. What is my purpose here? Mm -hmm. So if you determine what your purpose is, then you can find out what the purpose of the organization is, what the purpose of the other people are, and you can start creating alignment. And that gets into the leader creating that space for people to operate in. It's about aligning all those goals to a common destination. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I think James talked about it. It's where you're at. It's the vision of where you're going. The plan is in between. Well, what supports that plan is the leader. You bet. You bet. So I got one last question for you, and that is this. What do you do when it's not going as smoothly as you envisioned it? Run for the hills. No. Oh, no. That's, that's not the answer, is it? Not the answer. Uh, understand that if it's not working the way it should be, something is missing. Well, yeah. Well, I know, but but most people don't do that. They panic and they start to. They do think it, it. Well, okay. So is it? It's not always just me. Like I'm not the problem. Something is missing. Something is missing. So again, if you look at leadership as this as this space that you're creating for people to operate in, something's missing out of that space. Are there diagnostic tools? Yes, you. <laughs> as as okay. a leader, the biggest diagnostic tool you have is a question. Start asking some questions. I like that. What's missing? What? What? Uh, how are people doing? What's working? What's not working? Uh, are Are the things that I believe about this situation true? That's even a good question because yeah. a lot of times those assumptions you make create half the problem. So if you ask yourself, "Is what I'm thinking about true?" Mm. Oh, the assumptions you make are half the problem. Mm. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but the other side of it is listen. And ask questions, yes. and you will find your direction and, and uh, some solutions. And help create it, completely. And help create it. All right, where can we learn more about Cobalt? Cobalt uh, website, cobaltbusiness.com. And the phone number, people are welcome to call me at 888-444-0088. That's such a fun number. Say it again. Oh, man, you always do this to me. 888-444-0088. <laughs> I'm getting better at it, by the way. I think last time I was like, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, no, it, and Cobalt Business is nationwide, so give him a call and he can help you with whatever is keeping you up at night. Brian is an excellent listener, which I love that. I love that that is in your tagline. Brian, thanks so much for talking about leadership with us today. Oh, thank you, guys. It's been uh, a pleasure today. Absolutely. We look forward to the next time. And we look forward to uh, interacting with you. Like always, you have the option to connect with us after the show by uh, reaching out at uh, facebook.com slash experience pros. You can email us at radio at experience pros.com. You can visit our website, experience pros.com. And as always, you know, like we talked about earlier in the broadcast, pay it forward by exercising a little bit of kindness. Remember, kindness is so simple, and all you need to do is drop two sentences. Tell us, who do you love in business, and then tell us why. You know, when you develop the greatness in others, when you look for the greatness in others, you develop the greatness in others. It is so true, and it's a great, uh, great, great show today. It's, uh, man, it goes so fast. But stick with us because we will be back. And when we come back, we're going to be talking more business stuff. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Go give somebody a kiss. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.